Hey guys, I'm Louise Doodle, and today's video is going to be a haul video of all of the things that I bought in the month of January 2019. So the first thing I'm going to mention about this haul video is that all of the products you see here are either from the works or Hobbycraft, which personally are two of my favourite stores to shop in. So without further ado, I am going to show you more in depth um, what I bought this month. Okay, so the first few things I am going to um, show you are um, a few books that um, I got from the works, and uh, all of these books caught my eye whilst I was looking on the looking at the shelves and browsing around the shop in general. So. Um, before I ramble on, I'm going to show you the books now. Um, so, this one is called um, Call Me Dog, and uh, as you can see, it has this really beautiful polygon style art of a beagle um, alongside what the colour um, by number section looks like because it's a colour by numbers um, colouring book. So, as you colour it in, you were. Uh, make uh, designs under uh, pieces of work like this or they can be different colours depending on how you want to colour it in and that so that is amazing um, so I'll just give you a quick flick through now and everything and that and one thing I really like about this um, book and that is that they have two separate colour schemes because um, personally I am that kind of person that that likes following um, instructions or how to's type of thing so like if there's a colour by numbers colouring book like this one um, I'm currently going through a colour by numbers as well um, I'm definitely going to try my best to colour match the colours to their exact colour and colour the um, colouring page in its exact um, replica, so I'm, I'll essentially colour it how it how it looks on the page or something. But one thing I really like about this is that there are actually two of these colour schemes, so you can have a natural colour scheme. So in this case, um, the natural colour scheme will be what the dog, in this case the Afghan hound, actually looks like. But if you go in the bottom. Da, 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 da. There is a vivid colour scheme, and this one has um, colours of like purples, pinks, and um, no, pinks, oranges, um, reds. And I really cannot wait to colour in this book. Um, looks brilliant. Everything. It even has a thumbnail sections as well that you can like test out, um, like colour um, theory and everything, and. Uh, you can try and figure out what colours you'd like to use. There we go, it even says freestyle with your own colours here and everything, um, which is exciting. It was really exciting, so... Right, but enough about this one and that. I will now go on to the second colouring book, which is pretty much a very similar one. It's from the same company um, and authors, so if I show you side by side here, I um, don't know if it's going to focus on this, um, on the sides here, but they are from, um, both of these books are from, uh, I'm sorry if I uh, mispronounce the name, uh, Setting Kan Karaduman, um, and the Color Me Wild one, um, they collaborate with um, someone called Hope Little as well, so that, that's a really exciting as well, um, everything. But same again with this second coloring book um, front page, it is um, a polygon style um, art piece of, I think maybe it might be a cheetah or, or, some, or something like that. Um, but in this one, there's a. It's pretty much the same as the uh, color by color the uh, 
colour my dog one, but with uh, uh, a wider variety of animals to colour. So they you can colour in um, animals like a raccoon, an iguana, um, a stag, a meerkat, um, and everything, and a tortoise, um, koala, the list goes on and on and on, and you can create loads of like thingies like this, um, pages, and again, I really cannot wait to call them in as well. Um, so there's the natural um, colouring um, colour palette, and there's the vivid one and everything. So I will close this one. I forgot to show you the back of this one as well. Um, you can tell they're from the same company as well because they use a similar style of um, how they lay out the uh, books and everything. So yeah, um, I really cannot wait to colour in these current books and that. So on to the third colouring book and for those of you who know me in real life, they um, you will know that I am a huge Harry Potter fan. So, um, it's kind of... I kind of don't need to explain to um, those people um, why I bought this coring book and, and everything, but I bought it. Um, not because I, not only because I love Harry Potter, but because I really love the... Uh, the composition of these um, pieces, like Harry there um, in his uh, um, Hogwarts robes, and then then there's Voldemort, and then um, Luna Lovegood, and all of this is just amazing. And what's um, even better about this one as well is that. It is a celebratory edition, so um, if I just grab my uh, original Harry Potter colouring book, hang on a second, bear with me, there we go. So if I uh, show you this colouring book um, here, which I uh, have coloured in, as you can see, um, not a finished colouring, but like yeah so this coloring book well this coloring book has like all three of the uh, Harry Potter coloring book series coloring books um, in there but like it has like the the best of them as it says in the front cover so as this says here it has it, um, it has a selection of artwork from the original colouring book, the Magical Creatures colouring book, and the Magical Places and Characters colouring book, and some exclusive never-before-seen images, which I really cannot wait to colour, because, wow, like, Diagon Alley there looks so amazing, like, wow, so exciting. Now, the final thing from the works that I got um, is this fantasy art how to um create book um because i i, I really want to try and improve my art and everything so i feel like if i follow the tutorials of this coring book then i would feel more confident in like in how i translate these steps onto um, paper and how I translate an image onto a piece of paper as well and uh, yeah I'll show you the back I forgot to show you the back of the uh, oh, I actually have shown you the back of the Harry Potter one never mind sorry and um, so the back of the fantasy art one now the inside as well is so exciting like you get to see the step by step of how this how it's sketched from summon creatures to entra enchantresses and pegasi unicorns and monsters and it is like the fantasy artist connoisseur 
coloring book, like the fantasy connoisseur coloring book. Um, like this will be perfect for those who absolutely love art and fantasy and everything. And uh, with all of this said, this is um, the end of, this is all that I've got from the works. So what I'm going to show you next is stuff that I got from Hobbycraft throughout the month of January 2019. All right, we are on a roll. So the first thing I am going to show you from Hobbycraft is, now I haven't even heard of these before until I saw them on the shelves um, in the art section and it really intrigued me like ooh watercolor eraser because I didn't I didn't know you could erase um, watercolor from paper which kind of excited me even more so I really can't wait to try these um, it says um, completely remove unwa unwanted watercolor paint from your paper with the miracle paint grabbing job ability of the magic sponge eraser and wow, simply dampen and gently rub the desired area until the paint is removed. Nice, I cannot wait to use these because I really do plan to um, do more watercolour anyway. And onto that subject, I bought essentially what I needed to create watercolour pieces um, and everything which I cannot wait to use. I know I say, I'm saying that for a lot of the stuff that I bought, but I really cannot wait. Anyway, you can never have too many brushes. Like, <laughs> like, like I have, like over there, I have so many brushes. Um, it's unreal, but because it's a new watercolor set and a completely new piece of paper, I thought, why not get these brushes? Like, I mean, there's a, there's a big one and a little one and there's a detailed ones and everything. Um, so a flat wash, flat shader, filbert, round liner, angle shader, a lot of them. So one, two, three, four, seven of them. There's seven of them and that. And uh, they are synthetic gold taclon as well, which is brilliant um, and everything. Uh, Looks like they um they're all purpose as well, even though it's they're more used for um, acrylics. Um, people use them for watercolor and oil as well, so I'm going to use these ones for watercolor, hopefully, along with um others as well. Um, and like I said, I really cannot wait to try these. But moving on, um, watercolor paints. <laughs> The, this will be the first time I am going to be using watercolour paints in a tube because whenever I've um, painted using watercolours, I've um, used pans, um, watercolour pans and so I saw these in Hobbycraft and I heard about them online and I thought might as well try them and everything. So here I am, I'm going to try them and I've got at least one planned video for this. I have not um, recorded it yet but I have got a video planned where I do watercolour or even mixed media. I don't know. Anyway, the final thing that I bought from Hobbycraft is the De La Rowney Aquafine watercolour paper and I think, it, yeah, it said it was cold pressed over here and like that paper though, this paper though, like, whew. like I am going to really enjoy painting this, um, painting with this paper and everything. And 100% uh, um, cellulose um, says here, if I'm just move it here, and then um, new quality. Um, so they must have changed the quality somewhat. Um, this is my first time buying this paper as well, so I don't really know for sure. Um, it comes with 12, piece, 12 pieces of the paper, and it's um, 300 grams per meter squared. Um, so 300 GSM, I think. And uh, 
you can, and uh, then all of these are you know, all these three are essentially telling you what you can use on this. So you can use pencil, you can use paint, you can use ink on this paper, and it's acid free as well. Which I recently just found out today um, that if it's if a if a piece of paper or if um, paper is acid free, it means it won't discolor over time and it won't like affect the uh, piece of work in any way, which uh, I kind of found was pretty cool. It's brilliant. And the back is just a plain back. But uh, yeah, um, this is the last thing that I bought in January 2019. So if I just bring up everything that I got out here again. Uh, hey, right, so I really cannot wait to try all of this stuff out, and yeah, it's it's gonna. I have a really good feeling about 2019. It's going to be so exciting. I have got so much planned, and I have got stuff in the works as well. Um, and. Yeah, I really cannot wait to share what I um, am going to do um, to my channel with you guys. It's, it's going to be amazing. Like, it's going to be great. But in the meantime, um, thank you. Um, thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to click that like button. And if you have any suggestions or requests as to what you want me to do in any of my future videos make sure to comment underneath the description below and I will gladly um, read those comments and everything and um, if you like my content as well you can um, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking um, the red subscription button and if you want to stay notified of, um, of all of the videos that I upload um, then make sure to click on the bell next to the subscription button because then you'll be notified of when I upload next but anyway um, but in the meantime I thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in the next video goodbye